Everybody's dressed in black. You got a Hertz. You got cars with headlights on. You got the police escort. You got some people crying. Some people cheering. But what's the saddest thing at a funeral? Christopher Harrell with ChristopherHarrell.com. And in this video here, I'm going to share with you what is the saddest thing at a funeral. And before I started this video, I gave you a lot of descriptive terms, things that we see every day at our funeral. Things that are, in, in its own world, pretty low. Pretty dejecting thoughts, but also factual thoughts. But the saddest thing at a funeral, ladies and gentlemen, or my friend who's watching this video today, the saddest thing is not necessarily the cold body that's sitting in that casket when the preacher's doing his eulogy. That's not the saddest thing. The saddest thing at a funeral is the death of those dreams. All the dreams that died with the individual in the casket. That's the saddest thing at a funeral. If you go look at my Facebook page, and you, I have a banner there. And, and I have a description, uh, inscription at the bottom. And at and, and the bottom of that banner, it says, live life with no regrets. Now, where did I get that from? I got that from my mentor when I got involved in real estate investing. And he shared that with me. And that's, that's stuck with me ever since. And I share that with everybody who I come in contact with today who I'm mentoring, everybody who I'm showing in my business today, everybody I'm working with in my business. And I share that because you have to live life with no regrets. There's so many people, so many people who die with so much music and songs and, and, and patents and ideas and inventions and, 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 and vacations they never took, places they never never saw, properties they never bought, investments they never made, businesses they never started, even jobs they never took. Out of fear, out of programming and conditioning, out of unbelief, out of doubt, out of an average and poverty mindset. For whatever reason, so many people die with an unfulfilled life. One of the things that, that, I, that I made my mindset of back 15 years ago, that I would not be an individual who had died with regrets. One of my ideas, I wanted to release music CDs, so I did that. Here's some, a couple of my music CDs here. I did a couple, a few, uh, even, even more than this. I won awards for this. I wanted to get in real estate investing. I did that as well. And now today, I help people be able to create their own economy and show people how to be able to profit from their own passions. You know, to get out of the rat race, to be able to pursue the life that they were truly intended to live in the first place. Because the saddest thing is if, when you go to any hospital room, and I've learned this from a lot of my preacher friends. You go to a hospital room and someone's on their sick bed right now and they're dying. And, and, and what are they doing? They're recalling all the years back, all the years past when they were a child, all the dreams they had to be a professional athlete or, or, or whatever they might be. And they're dying with regrets. That's the saddest thing at a funeral. It's not the cold body in the casket because we all got to go there. It's an individual who let their dreams die with them. If you're an individual right now and you're in a status quo, you're afraid to, to pursue your dreams. God put your dreams in you for a reason. They're in you for a reason. And if they're in you for a reason, you can accomplish those dreams. Desires that you have in you would not be in you if you could not accomplish them. If it if it's a dream job, whatever, I don't care what it is, but the saddest thing when it comes to that is that only 20% of people today who actually work a job are actually in their dream jobs. That, that means that 80% of us follow the status quo. We do things just to pay a bill and we're in a place where we should not be. And 80% of us are probably going to die alone with our dreams. I implore you today, my friend, to not let that be you, to live life with no regrets. Pursue your dreams, pursue your ideas, pursue your passion and desires. And do not die. Do not let your dreams die when it's time for you to go see your maker. Share this video with somebody else who you know can get some value out of it. Post your comments below, like this video, and connect with me. 
at ChristopherHarrell.com.